She had to go. I don't know where. So is... Is Fox still in surgery? Yeah. Dr. Russell said she's going to come out when she can and give us progress reports. Okay, listen. Just try not to worry about it. I'm sure Fox is going to be just fine. You don't know that. For crying out loud, he was hit by a car. They said that he might not make it. And it's my fault for not being with him. No, Kay. It is not your fault. If anyone is to blame, it's me. You were to blame Miguel? Are you saying you were the hit and run driver that ran over Fox Crane? Julian, where have you been? I've been taking care of some business. But our son is in surgery fighting for his life. Eve Russell is trying to find proof that he faked his terminal illness. Miguel asked her to. I'm well aware of the circumstances. As I said, I had some things to take care of. But... Ah. Dr. Gasparo. Hello, Miss Winthrop. Mr. Crane, thank you for coming, Doctor. Yes, sorry to hear about your son. Yes. Dr. Gasparo, what a surprise. What are you doing here? Well, actually, I called Doctor. I would like him to join you in performing uh, Fox's surgery. I won't take no for an answer. I told you I wasn't imagining things. I was raped again. This time they found the evidence. That means they can identify the attacker. Yes, we should be able to find the man if he's in one of the available DNA databases. Fancy, are you sure the semen is from the man you say who attacked you? I wasn't having sex with anyone else, if that's what you're implying. Wait a minute. You mean you and Louise haven't made love yet? Um, well, no, Sheridan, we haven't. We were waiting. Well, this rapist made a big mistake when you left DNA evidence behind. Well, criminals are stupid and they make stupid mistakes. I told you I didn't dream it. I was attacked again. It really happened. There's something that I need to tell you. And it's important. Hey, what is it? What is it you want to tell me? Come on, Teresa, tell him, please. So that he can go get Gwen back and you can be with Jared. Just let Ethan go. Dora, this is bad. Very, very bad. There's much death and destruction coming to Harmony. Horrible things are going to happen. And someone, some one person is going to cause it. That I don't know. There's no name visible to me here. Could be a man, could be a woman. I just can't tell. But I'll tell you one thing. Whoever it is is working for the dark side. <laughs> I must say, I'm quite impressed with some of the festivities he or she has planned. <laughs> I don't know. Could be. It could be a mortal. What I do know is, 
great pain is coming to the Lopez Fitzgeralds. And to the Russells. And to the Bennets. And even to the Cranes. But who is it who's going to cause all this chaos? I have an idea. I think I know a way to find out who's behind it. I think I can come up with a name. Wait a minute. Well? Are you going to confess that you were the hit-and-run driver that ran over Fox Crane? No, Chief Bennett. I am not going to confess to something I haven't done. I'm innocent. Then what is it that you're to blame for, Miguel? For not finding proof of Fox's scheme sooner. His schemes? Yes, his schemes. For pretending he's dying of some horrible disease, making Kate think I made love to charity. If I would have known what Fox had been up to, I could have stopped Kate from marrying him. Is that the doctor who diagnosed Fox's disease? Hey, hey, Miguel. Listen to me. Look, I want to believe you, okay? But the evidence against you is mounting up. There is no evidence, Chief Bennett. Because I didn't do it. Your front headlight was smashed, okay? And you told Kay that you had taken care of Fox? Look, all I meant was that I called him out on his lies, Chief Bennett. I didn't try to kill him. And he is lying about having this terminal illness. Now, if you excuse me, I have to get back to Kay. Dr. Russell, what's wrong? Why is uh, Dr. Gasparro here? Actually, Kay, I called him. As you know, he's a, a specialist in Fox's disease. But Fox is still in surgery. He's not worse, is he? No, no, things are going well. He just has many injuries, so it's, it's going to take us a little time. Well, I thought it might help if uh, Dr. Uh, Gasparro was in the operating room. Chief Bennett, you cannot let this man go in there. He's been paid off by Julian to lie about Fox's illness. That is not true. This reputable doctor is lying. Why don't you take him down to the station? Make him take a lie detector test. See who's telling the truth. What is your problem? Miguel, calm down. Sam, Dr. Gasparro was in harmony to attend Fox and Kay's wedding. And since he was still here, I thought that it might be prudent to have him involved in, in Fox's surgery. Oh, I agree. I want Fox to have as much help as he can get. I'm telling you, Kay, he's part of the scam. He lied about Fox being sick. You cannot let him go into that operating room, Kay. You can't. Uh, well, I better get the semen sample to the lab. You're free to go home if you feel up to it. Oh, thank you, but I'd, I'd like to stay until you find a DNA match. So would I. Can it be done that quickly? It's not likely. Uh, there are dozens of protocols that have to be matched, and I'll have to search through numerous databases. Oh, wait, wait. What if you don't find a match? Well, let's try and think positively. The guy who attacked you repeatedly is probably not a first-time offender, so I bet we find a match. Well, I better get to the lab. We have to find him. We, I can't stand the thought of him being out there, still free to, free to come after me whenever he feels oh, like it. Hey, I'm here. I am not leaving you, okay? You are safe now. You promise? I promise. And I'm sorry that I didn't protect you before. I don't know what happened. I swear to you. Listen to me, if it is the last thing I do, I'm gonna find this guy. He's never gonna hurt you again. You must be relieved. Relieved about what? Uh, about Fancy. I mean, you were so worried that uh, she was imagining all these attacks that she was either hallucinating or for some strange reason making up the story about being attacked just as a way of gaining attention. I'm not so sure she wasn't. <laughs> Honey, she's just been subjected to tests that have told us that she was indeed assaulted tonight. Surely this is a good time for you to reconsider your position. What position? The fact that you think that Fancy is mentally unstable and that she might need to be institutionalized. Let's just wait and see what the DNA tests prove. I have a feeling this isn't quite over yet. I, I don't follow you. I'm just trying to be objective. 
I have a feeling the DNA tests are going to lead us to more questions about Nancy's mental stability. I know you want to tell me something. So just tell me. Um, I was gonna have... I was going to say that, uh, again, I, I believe when you say that you don't know how you got into my bed, I, I believe you. Thank you. I, I know. I know it sounds crazy. It really, the last thing I remember is I was here with my wife, and the next thing I know, I was in your bedroom with you. I, I, oh. well, I, I know that you would never force yourself on me, Ethan. That's why I, I couldn't even think of pressing charges. I appreciate that. Thank you. I only wish Gwen... Gwen did. I'm really sorry she didn't believe you. I'm sorry she wants a divorce. It's not your fault. It's not your fault I brought this on myself. Hi, Whit. Hi. Is Jane asleep or is she awake? Oh, oh, she's awake and, and she says she really wants her daddy. <laughs> yeah, she usually wants a snack or a sip of juice at this hour, so. Thanks. You were all set to tell Ethan that he was free to be with Gwen. What's happening? I don't know, Whitney. I mean, I, I tried. But don't you realize this is the perfect opportunity? No. No, I mean, I, I, I heard him. You heard him, Whitney. Gwen was angry. And she smashed her wedding ring. And I thought this was like every time before, Gwen would be angry with Ethan, but she would come back because she would forgive him. But when I, when I saw the ring, you decided that Gwen is not coming back. Yes. But, uh, Teresa, you could have convinced Ethan to go back after Gwen. You could have told him you would get him that job in India with Crane so he could take Gwen and Jane and move far away. I know. You could have convinced Ethan that you finally accepted his marriage to Gwen. I know. And then you and Jared, you know, you could have been happy. And Ethan and Gwen could have been happy, but you just, it's like you want to keep the chaos going. Why do you want to put everyone around you in a constant state of misery? I want Dr. Gaspar to go into surgery, okay? He's a respected doctor, and anything he can do to help save Fox, I want him to go in there. I'm telling you, he works for Julian. Okay, that's, I, I don't believe that. And even if that's true, I, I don't really care right now. I have to do everything I can to make sure Fox pulls through this. You're so transparent, Miguel. You know, it's so obvious you want my son to die, and it is so very obvious that you are the one who tried to kill him. You know what, I am sorry about what happened to Fox. But I'm telling you, it was not me. Fancy Green, Mr. She's in the ER? Yes. I thought you wanted to know. Thank you. Sure. W what happened? Is something wrong with Fox? It's okay. It it's not about Fox. Ivy, Julian, Fancy's in the ER downstairs. Emergency, why? Wait, wait, what happened to my daughter? Well, it appears that she was attacked in her room again. Oh my God, Julian! I I have to go to work. Okay, go see about Fancy. I'll I'll I'll, I'll wait around here for word on Fox. Okay. Call me on my cell. Oh, okay, I will. Uh, uh Doctor Gasparo, perhaps uh, you best go scrub up. I'm sure that Eve has no objections. No, of course I I, I welcome Doctor Gasparo's expertise. I'll see you in the OR. Doctor Russell. Let's just be careful. That man is going to try and stop you from finding proof that Fox is lying about his illness. Miguel, just don't worry, okay? Because if Fox is lying about having a terminal illness, it'll be apparent to the whole surgical team in the OR. Okay. Oh, my God. Fancy. Fancy, you've told me what happened to her. Are you, are you all right? 
What, Mother, what are you doing here at the hospital? Oh, oh God, that's right. You, you haven't heard about Fox. Um, what about Fox? Your brother, he's in surgery. He was the victim of a hit-and-run driver. Did you say Fox was run over? And that he's in surgery? Yes, it's horrible. Well, do they know who did it? They have a pretty good idea who the driver was. Wait, is Fox going to be all right? How bad were his injuries? It's really serious, honey. Well, you, you said you think you know who hit him. Who was it? It was your brother, Miguel. What? No, that can't be true. Wait, why would you think Miguel was the one who hit Fox? Because he was desperate. He wanted Fox out of the way so he could have Kay. Oh, come on, that's ridiculous. Do you have any proof? <laughs> he told Kay that Fox was taken care of. And the headlight on his car, it's smashed. What is it with you Lopez Fitzgeralds? Every time a crane gets involved with one of you, disaster happens. Wait, that's not fair. Oh, it isn't? Ethan and Teresa? Sheridan and Luis? And now you and Luis? Well, what? Look what's happened. Well, Mother, Luis loves me. Then why wasn't he there to protect you? Why did he let you be attacked? Raped! Not once, but twice. Where were you, Luis? Why didn't you protect her? What kind of a, a cop are you? What kind of a man are you? To allow this to happen to a woman that you supposedly love. I do love her. Then why can't you keep her safe? I just have to say, I think you're making a huge mistake here. Probably the biggest mistake of your life. Because Jared loves you and only you. Ethan, he can't say that. He will never break his marriage vows. You, of all people, should know that. But he does love me, Whitney. And I've loved him forever. Okay, just stop, please. You told me that you wanted a man who was free to love you. Well, Jared is that man. I mean, you and Jared could have this happy life raising little Ethan, and Ethan and Gwen could have a wonderful life raising Jane, if you just let Ethan go. I can't. Well, you know what? If you aren't going to do it, I'll do it. I'll tell Ethan right now. But tell me what? Oh, my little witchlet. This is magic truth sand from the mines of Solomon. This sand is going to tell us who is behind the horrors in harmony. Watch and learn. Question, and we should soon have an answer. <sighs> Truth and consequences, lies and pain. Tell this witch the horrible name. Soon we'll see who's causing all the chaos and harmony, who it is who's disrupting the lives of Paul Kay and Fox and Miguel and... Teresa and Jared and Ethan and Gwen and Louise and Fancy and Sam and Grace and Chad and Whitney. <sighs> Who is to blame? Give me a name. Mother, Louise did everything he could to protect me. He loves me. He would never hurt me. You're just saying that because you're sleeping with him. Actually, we're not. You're not? Why not? Well, that's an odd question for a mother to ask her daughter, but if you must know, it's against the rules for a cadet to date an officer. So we were waiting until I graduated from the academy. 
Well, maybe if you had been sleeping with him, he would have been there to protect you. Mother! You're not helping. What else is new? Mother, Reese and I love each other. I know he feels horrible and guilty right now. He doesn't need you laying the blame on him. Reese, don't be so hard on yourself. Ivy's right. It's all my fault that this scum was able to attack Fancy. Again. It's not your fault. Oh, really? Then whose fault is it? I was in Fancy's room to protect her. Next thing I know, I wake up in the pantry wearing someone else's clothes and a ski mask. How does that happen? I don't know how it happened. All I know is it's not your fault. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Yon. Why are you still here, then? Are you injured? What? What's no. going on? I, I, I came to have an exam, and they found uh, semen. So they're doing DNA testing to see if they can catch the bastard. Oh, honey. Honey, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I, I want every DNA database tested. I, I want CIA, FBI, Interpol. I want everyone in on this. I want this vermin found. I'm sure everything that can be done is being done. We'll know soon. Okay. Soon we'll know who attacked me. Oh. Wow. That's weird to find a match so quickly. Must be someone in one of the hospital databases. First file I tried. Okay. Who are you, you jerk? Oh, my God. No, it can't be. Come on. Come on, Teresa, what is it you have to tell me? And Whitney, what is it you want to say? Um, well, I, I was going to tell you I was going to say that I'm sorry, you know, I, I heard about Gwen leaving. I'm really sorry about that. And I also want to let you know that Jane, you know, she's a beautiful baby. You're... Well, I, I, I'm going to go ahead and go. I'm just going to ask you one more time. Please tell Ethan. Please. So that you can all be happy. I can't do it. I lost you. I, I don't think you're ever going to be happy. I think you're just going to constantly live in this state of chaos. You know, hopefully... Hopefully you change your mind. my family. Your marriage to Gwen might be over. But that just means that you and I can finally be the family that we always wanted to be. With Jane and Louise. Solomon, who is to blame? Sands of the ancients, give us a name! How odd! 
No name, sweet pea. I'll tell you one thing. It isn't your father, Julian, and it isn't your dead grandfather, Alistair. So who is it? Oh, oh this is worse than I thought, Indora. So guilty. If I would have been with my husband on our wedding night, none of this would have happened. Okay, come on. Look, I don't blame you, okay? I know you didn't hit him with your car. Look, I'm glad you believe me, but you have nothing to feel guilty about. If Fox wouldn't have tried to keep us apart by lying to you all this time, none of this would have ever happened. I just can't believe he would lie to me about this. Dr. Russell. Is, uh, is Fox out of surgery? How is he? Was the operation successful? Is he going to be okay? It's all my fault. I never fully committed to my marriage. I wanted to. I just couldn't do it. And I've made a mess of, of this whole damn thing. I've, I've wrecked my life. I've wrecked, I've wrecked Gwen's life. Wrecked him. Well, you know what, Ethan? You can't blame yourself. This is not your fault. I was the one who was always hanging around, hovering, waiting for you to be free, waiting for you to finally leave Gwen to be with me. No, 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 no. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That might have been true in the beginning. But after Rome, heck, you did everything you possibly could to push me away. I was the one that hung on. I was the one that couldn't let go. If Gwen really knew how many times that I had dreamed of being with you and just... If she knew how many times we actually made love, Teresa, you know what? She would have left me a long, long time ago. And I never thought that I was the kind of man that could ever cheat on his wife. I never thought I would be that guy, you know? And I never thought that this was the way my life was going to turn out. I better go. Can I go? I'm her mommy. Does. Will my son recover? Yes. Yes, he had extensive injuries, but he should make a full recovery. Ah, thank God. Thank God, indeed. Thank you so much. Ah, Daddy's going to be okay. That's great news, Kay. Well, it seems now, Miguel, that you'll only be, you'll only be charged with attempted murder. You know, I'm as happy as you are that Fox is going to be okay. But not because I thought I was going to be arrested. I know I'm innocent. Hardly. Why don't you stop lying until the truth? I have told the truth. Fox is the one who's been lying. But now that he's free of any danger and the operation has been a success, the truth can finally come out. Yes, yeah, so you can tell the police that you're the one who ran him down with your car. He can't because it never happened. And the truth is, I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about Fox's schemes being exposed. Telling Kay he's dying of a terminal illness. That's the biggest lie of all, Julian. That is a preposterous fabrication born of wishful thinking on your part. Is it really? Yes. Dr. Russell, did you find out during surgery? Did you find out whether or not Fox is really dying of a terminal illness? Louise, I'm sorry for the things my mother said. She's just upset. I know. She's right, though. It is all my fault. No, it's not your fault. Oh, 
The lab assistant's coming. Do you think she found the identity of my attacker already? I don't know. You have the lab results already? Yes, I was able to find a match very quickly. Well, do you have a name? Yeah, do you know the name of the man who raped me? Yes. Yes, I do. Well, who is it? Who, who attacked me? She's my child, Ethan, and she doesn't want me. She's, she's tired. She, she, you know she loves you. She's just, Teresa, she's been around Gwen all this time since she was an infant, and she just sees Gwen as her mommy most of the time. How do you think she's going to do without having Gwen here? I don't know. I don't know, how do you tell a baby that uh, mommy's not coming home? You know, you don't have to do this alone. I can help you. No, no, you don't need to do that. You have Korean Industries to run, you have little Ethan to take care of. And you of, have Teresa. to work too. I would love to make time for Jane. We could take care of the children together. What are you saying to me? Are you saying that you want us to be together? Oh, Indora. Oh, this is even worse than I suspected. The citizens of Harmony have no idea what's in store for them. The pain and the, and the chaos. Mark my words, my little witchling. When this evil has run its course, harmony will never be the same. The destruction will be absolute. <sighs> Please, Dr. Russell, just tell me. Did you find any evidence that Fox is suffering from a terminal illness he claims he has. You, you're unbelievable. First you try to kill my son by running over him with your car, and now that he's going to recover, you're trying to destroy his character. I just want to know the truth. And if Fox has nothing to hide, then you have nothing to worry about, right? Yeah, I would like to know too, actually. Did he lie about having a terminal illness? Yeah, we'd all like to know the answer to that, Dr. Eve Russell. Surely, Eve, you didn't waste valuable time in the operating room on some medical wild goose chase. Well, apparently, it wasn't a wild goose chase. I found no evidence of Fox having any terminal disease. None at all. Thank you, Dr. Russell. Yes, I told you, Kay, he was lying. He was lying to you the whole time. Please, if, if you know his name, tell me. Who attacked me? Yes, tell all of us, please. I want this monster arrested and I want him put away forever. What's his name? This is very difficult. Difficult? Why? I, I thought you said you had the man's identity. Yes, I did. I, I do. Well, if you do, then tell us who it is. Then please tell us. The DNA in the semen we collected from Fancy Crane belongs to you, Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. What? Wait. No, no, that can't be true. You're not saying that Luis is the man that raped my niece. I'm sorry, the results are conclusive. Luis Lopez Fitzgerald is apparently the man who attacked you, Miss Crane. What? Oh, you bastard! No, 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 hold on a second. Now, this doesn't make any sense. It's not right. No, that, that's not right. It's a mistake. It has to be. Miss, is there any chance that these results can be wrong? No, no, there is no way. I, I double-checked it because I found it so hard to believe. The semen we took from Fancy Crane belongs to Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. You told me you were in love with Jared. You made it very clear to me that you were going to move on with him. And you made it clear to me that you wouldn't let that happen. Think of our history together. We're always drawn to each other. 
Like tonight, you said that it was your subconscious that brought you into my room. Jared and Gwen don't believe that, but I do. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't have any other explanation for how I got there. I don't. No. I'm in your heart and your mind, just like you're in mine. But I do want to help you with Jane. I want you to know that you can count on me. Grateful to you. I know I'm gonna need help with her. Ethan, I want to be here for you too.